What's up moms? Welcome to Mom's Diary. This channel would mainly be about pregnancy, lifestyle, and parenthood. Basically, the C-section is done if it's medically indicated to be the best option. Those are seven indicators of a pregnancy that requires a C-section. 1. The water broke early. If the water broke early, it could be an indication of a C-section, because the most feared things in this scenario is if the amniotic fluid leaks because the amniotic sac bursts early. If your water broke, it is recommended to go through a C-section, because it is feared that the amniotic fluid has run out. An option doctor in Ek Hospital in Chibubur, Dr. Alexander Muti. 2. The baby is wrapped by the umbilical cord. An indicator of whether a pregnant mother can give birth normally or need to go through a C-section can be seen from how the umbilical cord wraps around the baby. If there are indicators that the baby is in danger, the C-section could be done. But it must be known that an increase in the number of umbilical cords that wrap the baby cannot be used to determine whether a C-section is needed. But the more the baby is wrapped, the higher the risks. 3. The baby is in a bridge position. A bridge position is when the baby's position changes in the uterus. For example, if the baby is in a position where its feet and bottom are closest to the birth canal, this change can happen due to the baby moving in the womb. A bridge baby will be the main factor in giving birth through a C-section. Most bridge birth cases are handled with a C-section to avoid complications for the baby. 4. The baby is big. Another indicator of giving birth through a C-section can be seen in the size of the baby. Most big-sized babies are delivered through a C-section. Even then, there are other considerations as to whether to conduct a C-section, including the size and shape of the mother's hips, the position of the birth canal, and the health of the mother and child. 5. Twin births. The birth of twins or more is usually an indicator of giving birth through a C-section. Until now, there have been many women who felt it was safer to give birth to twins through an operation. According to the British National Health Service, a pregnant mother can give birth to twins through a normal delivery. At least more than 40% of twins are delivered normally. But if there are any problems or an indication of a complication, the doctor might recommend giving birth through a C-section. Before deciding, it is best to consult with the doctor first. 6. Have a history of a C-section. Pregnant mothers who have given birth through a C-section, minimum twice, are usually recommended to do the same in the next pregnancy. But, if a normal delivery is preferred, it is best to consult with the doctor first. A normal delivery after C-section is also called a vaginal birth after cesarean. Also possible, there are requirements that must be fulfilled. For example, the wound from the last operation has healed nicely. If a C-section has been done more than once, it's not recommended to give birth normally for the next one. There are risks associated with the ruptured uterus, which is the condition where the old one on the uterus reopens. Ilham said. During delivery, a ruptured womb could cause the womb to tear inside the stomach. The rate of this happening to a mother who has given birth through a C-section is about 1-2%. to 7. This is in the mother. 
dangerous diseases that the mother has during pregnancy can be part of the consideration for a C-section. Below are revealed diseases that can indicate a C-section. Heart disease, lung disease, liver disease, kidney disease, hypertension, or high blood pressure. So, if you want to know some tips and tricks or maybe even some useful stuff to know, subscribe to our channel.